Hey everybody! Welcome back! As you can see, it is time to check out the airship at long last! Let's see. So, let's go through my airship depot. Maybe, maybe first. Oh, there's the, there's the dog. Here is the sort of waiting room. We got a lot of chairs here, kind of based on a, a bus station that I was at once. And this is supposed to be like a notice board, but it kind of looks like a movie screen. But oh well. Notice board. And then over here we got a. a like a information kind of a reception booth kind of thing. So the the workers go in here, and when you come in, you you see them and you ask any questions. And then over here we got like a bottomless pit, because yeah, built it out of the land. And then this goes way up way up. And I can fly and everything, but um, I designed this so that you don't have to fly. Like, you can get to the ship without it. Because originally you couldn't, and I thought, that's kind of wrong. How are people going to see it? How are, they, how, how are people going to come over and look around if they can't see it? So, here, we have, uh, this is my dark oak farm. These dark oak trees are cool. Another very good source of wood. And here is a pod, the first pod that I made. The Enterprise. Most of the pods are made out of only one kind of wood, but this is, this was the first, so... It's made of a few different kinds. And here we have the ship. Oh, first I'll take you on an outside tour of it. Okay. So, it is pretty huge. And, yes, I built this thing completely by myself. This right here is supposed to be a maneuvering thruster. See, it's got omnidirectional things. And then it's got another maneuvering thruster here. Here we have the bow. Let's see, oh, here. A dragon head. Oh, a dragon head and a skeleton. Because why not? And we'll see what's in that little section there in a second, that little window. Got windows all around, different rooms in the ship. Here is a main engine. And everything is labeled, at least all these engines are. The maneuvering thrusters are also labeled. So this is main engine two. Here is maneuvering thruster four. So we got four maneuvering thrusters, so it can, you know, turn and everything easily. That's a, a door to the back room, to the, the cargo room. And you're sort of a rudder kind of thing. I don't know, just seemed like it should go there. Oh, well, now it's raining. Oh joy. There is another main engine. This thing, as you can see, right here, it's called the Final Fantasy. Because, you know, airships, Final Fantasy. There's a pod. There are eight pods in all. Um, yeah, um, they are all named after ships in popular fiction. Prometheus from uh, Stargate SG-1. This is, of course, the Enterprise. This balloon, this massive balloon, took a very long time to make. And I had to get a lot of wool for it. There's the TARDIS from Doctor Who. <clears throat> Here is the Death Star. <laughs> yeah, a little pod called the Death Star. 
was this one? We looked at it earlier. The Enterprise, of course. Did I name two of them Enterprise? I hope not. Oh no, I think one of them is Voyager. There's Planet Express from Futurama. I don't know. One of them is Voyager. I think it's the one on the roof of my house. Okay, here is a uh, fresh water supply. I used to have it sort of pouring out of here, but um, now I don't because I wanted to put those heads there. Oh yeah, this is the officer's dining room here. Very nice, as you can see. Got a little reading area and, of course, a big giant table for lots of officers, I guess, to... And, and their guests to sit and dine. <clears throat> Pictures everywhere. Oh, and um, this gives a very nice view of the sunset. Let me see if I can set the time to show you that. No, I don't know. It's kind of hard to show, but you got a nice view out here in these windows. You can see my farm there. Okay, let's move on with the tour. Go, go, go. Okay, la, la, la. As we walk across the deck here, let's not be in too much of a hurry. These floor, this floor pattern I sort of came up with, I think it's pretty cool. Um, all of these, um, like I said before, there this was not made in creative mode. The biggest cheat was flying. <clears throat> so every one of these um, blocks I had to actually go and collect. So <clears throat> I went and explored the world and found a lot of temples. Uh, one cool thing about Otcraft is that it has uh, resource worlds which is like a whole world dedicated to just gathering resources, and it resets every month. So you have a never-ending supply of things like diamonds and everything, pretty much. Because normally in the game, uh, certain resources are finite, uh, non-renewable, even things like stone. There's a ton of it, of course, but it is non-renewable. So you could conceivably run out but there are assurances here. Okay, let's look at, let's go up here, up, up to the top here. <coughs> Here's another uh, variation on the pattern down there, except it's a little bit more elaborate. Kept with the, with a sort of brown, gold, sort of uh, theme. I think it's cool, and this is just sort of a deck, I don't know, observation deck, maybe? <coughs> okay, then down here, I'm getting a bit of a cold, so don't get too close to me, guys. Down here, <coughs> you can walk out onto this. This is a good place to, if, if you have if you have an elytra, you can jump out here. Obviously, it does me no good. Here are a bunch of shulker boxes. A rainbow of shulker boxes. And here you can see the bridge. And we'll go in there and we'll take a look. Main bridge. Okay, uh, this, yeah, as you can see, I don't know. It's, Maybe a power source? Although it seems like a really bad idea to keep the power source in the bridge, but it's stable. Don't worry, it's fine. <coughs> and then here we have just some controls. I guess one of the bridge workers can uh, come could work these controls. And the captain, or you know whoever is piloting the ship, can sit here. And then they can pretend to fly the ship. Whee! And it's got 
lots of controls all over the place, both down here and up on the ceiling. So, none of it actually does anything though, so, too bad. So sad. Okay, there's a little map of the area. So, see there, that is the airship. There's me. There's, uh, there's my palace. Uh, I think my farm is over here. Yeah, cool stuff, cool stuff. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Down here, uh, let's look at this. The mess hall and crew quarters. There's a, a door here and a door here. They both lead to the same area. Right there. And this this is supposed to be, I guess, like a desk. I don't know. I just kind of put it in, and I thought it looked nice. You could you could use it as a desk kind of thing, or like a standing desk. You can if you need to work on anything. And then here, the, the ceiling is very low because the crew has to deal with what they get. They don't get the privileges that the the officers get. And here's the crew quarters. Uh, they both look alike. I think maybe mirror imaged. And they have a light that they can turn on and off. And that is the most luxury they get. Got beds. And each of, them, each of them has a foot locker. And I also put in some of these. Even though I have um, the command here that lets me, lets me build stuff wherever I am. But... Uh, yeah, another cool thing about Otcraft, you can uh, you can get these custom, um, not custom, <laughs> you can get these uh, statuses, these uh, um, titles, and for for like a donation, and you get certain commands that come with them. Plus, you know, flying and stuff. That's with the diamond one. Very well worth the money if you want to support uh, what Autism Father is doing, which is great. Running a bully-free environment for autistic kids and adults, too. Why not? Okay, here we have my uh, cargo room. Let's first, though, look at the captain's quarters. Because these, these are some luxury accommodations. We've got furnaces with hoppers here so I don't have to worry about reloading the coal all the time just every once in a great while or whenever I feel like putting more in the hopper here and here we have some very protected chests a couple of those um, one of these uh, ender chest with, with all my, my riches, my emeralds and my diamonds Got a desk here for when I need to get some work done. I can just sit in this chair, work, work, work. And then a small little bookshelf. I would have put it up here, but there's a light, and I didn't want to block the light, so that's that. Here is where the bed is. This one's a little more, this bed's a little less wide than the one in the, the palace. Although the room itself is kind of nicer, but oh well. And then over here, if the captain wants to look out, he's got a full panoramic view. He's got a better view than the pilot does, actually, which could be a problem. <coughs> okay. You got all these windows that you can't exactly look out of. Well, you can kind of. You can go out here and look, but uh, yeah, okay, I guess you totally can. Why not? And then we've got a table here with no chairs. I was gonna put chairs around here, but I figured they take up too much space, so it's just a standing table. Captain, I guess, could take his meals there, but I think he would prefer. I would prefer to go to the officer's dining room. Okay, here we have so much storage. When I play this on my uh, Windows tablet, which is 
It's got like two gigs of RAM, I think. Maybe one. I don't know. It it lags like crazy in here. So you know, I've got labels for things, and so there are objects in here. I do use this as my uh, for my storage. I use my uh, my palace storage also. So I have a lot of storage. And then it continues. It's on both sides here. I don't have, you know, not everything is taken up because there aren't enough objects. Chorus plants, that's what those things are called. Those nether plants, no, end plants. So if that's been driving you crazy, there you go. Okay, let's go back this way. This way, this way, this way. We've got some extras, just sort of spillover storage. If I don't feel like putting stuff away where it's supposed to go, I can just stick it here until... I get around to it. Okay, then up here we've got yet more storage. Most of this storage hasn't been labeled yet. Only down to here. And it keeps on going all the way down there. On both sides, none of this has been labeled yet. So, lots of fun. Okay, here's the office. Warehouse office. We've got some more storage here. Because everyone loves storage. And here's a desk. I, we, I, we don't have a proper chair like in the officer's quarters. But it's just meant to look like an office, not actually function as one. And you can go out, sort of fill out your paperwork and all that. Cargo manifests. lounge so the warehouse workers can take their breaks in here ah oh, oh gross you would better get some more donuts that's that is inexcusable that guy he wasn't the captain oh there used to be a door to the brig here let me get rid of that sign actually there is a brig we'll see that next it's right over here so, if you do not conduct yourself properly, you get thrown into the brig. I used to have the levers right outside the door, and then I realized, if you're locked in here, you can just unlock it. So there we go. Anyone? So, yeah. Nice little cage. You, if you can fly, you can get out, but... I kind of wanted it to be that way because I didn't want to actually make people get stuck in here. Although I guess they are if they can't fly, so. <clears throat> Not everybody in, on the server can fly. Gotta pay for it. <clears throat> and here we have llamas, my llama stable. Got two llamas right here Vigilance and uh, Baritone. You can ride them, but you can't control them. Uh, you have to take a lead. Lead. And I think if you're leading one, um, all the rest of them in the area will follow him. So that's to help load and unload boxes. <coughs> okay, and over here we have cabins. Now let me show you first cabin 6, because cabins 1 through 6 are completely identical. That's how I like to work. I like to work with symmetry. I like to do something the same way over and over again. So we've got the beds and stuff up here. Pretty decent accommodations here. Much better than the crew get. And then we have sort of an emergency escape thing here. And chap uh, cabin seven is slightly different. Slightly different. See, it's got the storage here instead of near the bed. It's got the table here instead of here. So it's kind of got an additional. It's a little bit nicer than the other uh, cabins. I might put more storage, even though I already have uh, storage down below, just to make this a bit more luxurious. Maybe. We'll see what I... Ah, 
I get stuck in doors all the time? Okay, here we go. Oh, there's another room down here. Let's see, there's cabin four, cabin three, just to show you. You see, it's exactly the same. Exactly the same. Cabin two, cabin one. And this is the smelting room. Uh, this needs more lighting, I think. Furnaces, lots of coal. <clears throat> because the captain's quarters has a bunch of furnaces, but those are just for the captain to use. Anyone else caught using them will be punished severely. So there. Okay. Now let's go out here. And here we have some stairs that just lead up there. Go down here. Um, I used to have no railing here, and someone who was visiting and taking a look around uh, came out here and accidentally died. So I put the railing in, and then I put this in, the, the gate, so that you could still go out here and jump and kill yourself if you really wanted to. I don't recommend it, but the option's there. <clears throat> now let's take a look at these pods. Here's Moya from uh, Farscape. Uh, let's see. And yeah, I designed a little dock here with an H because for helicopter, I guess. Let's see. And then over, oh, down here, I'll show you the slums. This down here is where the poor people live, and they've got, you know, they get supplies too. High Wind from Final Fantasy VII. Okay, and here we have some uh, radiation, some uh, toxic waste from the, the palace here. Some raw sewage or something. Oh, these poor people. But, you know, if they had just applied themselves, they have a better situation. Gosh, little dirt house. Got the they they got the basics. They can't complain. They even have their own farmland. See, see how merciful. Am I not merciful? Their own farmland. I had some crops here, but someone actually came over and took them. Not very nice, because this land isn't protected. At least I don't think so. Is it protected? Let me see. Uh, no, it's not protected. So, oh well, I don't really intend to protect this part. I guess if anyone destroys it, that's unfortunate. But, uh, there's a giant pillar, so they can look up and see the grandeur of my, of my land here. And, um, okay, let's look at the other pod over here. One on the roof of my house. What's it called? I don't even remember all of them. <clears throat> this one is... Voyager! Oh, there's Voyager. Yeah. And I didn't show you this before. These, I think, are all of the uh, two-block-tall flowers. So you can take some bone meal, and this is basically a farm. You use the bone meal, right-click on these, and you get more flowers. So it's sort of an infinite supply of flowers. There's my rainbow. Let me get to the proper view. Of it. There it is. See that? Isn't that cool? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. <clears throat> Back to the airship. Don't think there's anything I forgot. I think that's a pretty complete tour of this place. So, yeah, there we go. Hopefully that is as cool to you as it is to me. Because this it's still not finished. I'm always going to be adding to it. So, anyway, that's that. 
I will see you the next time. Maybe we'll go around and we'll we'll uh, look at other people's creations. There's some cool stuff out there on Otcraft. So we'll explore another time. See you later.